Gerard Long is one of the new generation of schoolgoers. He should be at Fina National School in County Limerick today, but he's not, with his parents' permission. They don't want him to go because the school's facilities aren't good enough. He's 13 and in sixth class, so at his age, he doesn't really mind. It's just a holiday as far as he's concerned as he passes on his way to the creamery. To him, it's a bit of a joke, a game really, but not to his parents or their generation. They're deadly serious in making their children's school days better. There are normally 130 boys and girls in the role here, but only the four teachers go to school these mornings. The pupils have been kept at home by the parents and protested against the conditions at the school, and because as far as they can see, nothing's been done about the conditions. What they want really is a new school. Fina School is one of the oldest in Ireland, and in fact it was condemned 35 years ago. Yet it's still being used, though it's overcrowded, unhygienic, rat infested, and without proper sanitation. Like very many others in Ireland, it's a hangover from other days, and it's completely inadequate. This school was built in 1840, and it's just not geared for the 1960s. It's got no water, for instance, and the supply is drawn from a nearby pump, marked unfit to drink unless boiled. At the moment, drawing the water is all the teachers have to do. The school is divided into two sections for boys and girls. It's got, in all, only four rooms, yet 130 pupils are crushed into 12 classes in them. And this is just not good enough, according to the parents. Well, conditions, I think, it isn't a drastic action, as far as we are concerned at this stage, because it was an action that we should really have taken, I'd say, five years ago. I mean, the conditions in this school at the moment are really chaotic. I think not making, uh, it is a sad comparison maybe that I might make, that we have cattle yards in the country and around Fina locally that are nearly in a better condition as regards dryness and fitness for their children. Now, we have been expecting this school to start for the last three years at least, and we feel not putting any blame to our Reverend Manager, that he has done his share, but hasn't got the cooperation from the proper, proper sources. Uh, he has done his utmost, we feel, but it wasn't good enough that he has been neglected so far. Now, we're not really looking for luxury for our children. What we really demand is that today uh, things have got uh, have improved within the past 20 years at least and what we want, really want is and will demand to get is a better environment for our children and a better education what? where they will have adequate room for the teachers to teach them. And I have seen, and this is true, I have seen rats scurrying on the desks inside there and the kids coming and uh, opening their lunches and eating, laying, laying their lunches, their bread and butter, on, on those desks and eating just where the rats were scurrying. That is true. There, <coughs> there's no, <coughs> excuse me, there's no, that is no exaggeration. And uh, it, is a, it is a disgrace. The tidal the conditions there are shocking. I haven't seen worse, and I've seen a few places. And this is going on over the past couple of years. This is going on for a number of years, but we're... We're agitating for the new school here for, for, for the past couple of years. The children have to put up with a terrible risk to their life, and that is that rats trespass this school, and that is without any bluff that we say that, that rat, rats have trespassed this school every night, and that surely is a terrible risk to children's life. And I certainly wouldn't like to be the parent of six or seven children attending this school. And definitely I wouldn't furthermore like to be a teacher to teach within the school. Did you go to school here yourself? Yes, I did. I went to school here around about 25 years ago. The condition of the school at the time was not so bad. But since then it has deteriorated altogether. I think that uh, we're overdue a new school here for a long time. What are conditions really like inside? Conditions are very tough there as far as teaching is concerned anyway. Because in the junior individual where the assistant teachers are. They have something in the region around about 
35 pupils each. And they have to accommodate those pupils inside in a square of something around 16 by 12. That is around 20 infants there in each side. And they have to come into a small hall here called Callers Kipped to try to teach them. I think them days are gone. That's no way at all. I think you'll be cutting out at the moment anywhere. The teachers can't teach them in that kind of conditions. Now when they come in the morning, the first thing they've got to do is to try and clean the discs after the rats, which is appalling altogether. Sanitation is the last word. And the yards, I think, are worse than cow pounds. There was never a hand put them. Anything that was ever put out them was stones. When they found them, they're destroyed. They have to be washed before they come in the morning. They have to be washed again when they go home in the evening. I think we're a long time overdue. The strike started as the school was about to restart after the Christmas holidays. A meeting of the parents held in the local library was unanimous in its strike decision and it's had total support in the district. Their action was based on the fact that there had been too many promises and too little action, according to parent spokesman Joe Ryan. You know, all we see is bits in the paper, the new school for Feeney, you just see it splashed up. Big headings, but I mean, we never seem to get any further than that. As far as we're concerned, we don't know. But are you people as parents ever consulted or are you ever told exactly what progress is being made? Well, we've just been told that maybe the new school is a bit nearer, but how nearer, we don't know. Well, whose fault is this? Well, we don't exactly know whose fault it is. It is our main reason for going out in state, maybe, to try and pinpoint who is holding this thing up. But a strike surely is a very drastic action on your part. Well, I mean... We are not anxious for stakes or anything like that, but we feel that we had to go on site to bring this thing to public notice, if you like, I mean, so and get some shift in the building of the new school. But why should it have been done at this stage? I mean, you've had justifiable reasons to go on strike for a long time. I well, we've had justifiable reasons to go on strike for a long time, but uh, I mean, we could have said this. If we had went this time last year, we'd probably have a new school half built now. We think that by going now, even at this late stage, that We'll probably get something done. To what extent are you going to delay or are you going to wait to insist? We're going to wait until we get a definite assurance from the government department concerned that work is going to come in at a definite date on the new school. And you'll keep your children out until then? Yes, we'll keep our children out until then. That's one side of the story. I don't really know the other. Neither, in fact, do the parents. There's talk of plans being almost complete for a new school, but no one here in Fina really knows what's happening. I asked Father Bluth, the parish priest, to talk to us, but he declined because the school is the property of the Board of Works and he says he's only the nominal manager. He did say, however, a new school would be built in due course, but that brings us back to square one.